Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Blanchett. If you are new here, I am a third year, fifth grade homeschool mom. We also have a 14 month old, uh, quite the age difference. So life is pretty fun right now. And um, I just wanted to show you guys another Dollar Tree haul. I have hit two in the last week, last Saturday, when we went um, grocery shopping um, about an hour away, I hit a Dollar Tree. Uh, we live rural. We just bought a manufactured on almost 10 acres. Um, so we hit Dollar Tree that day, and I hit Dollar Tree yesterday when we went to get some rabbits in another town about an hour away. Um, the closest Dollar Tree to me is a 40-minute drive, either way, um, in very opposite directions. So the uh, largest um, town or city next to us, about 25 minutes away, is Building One, and it should open in October. So I hope to go a little more often, and um, I will probably do at least one Dollar Tree haul video a month, I'm thinking. Uh, probably won't always be educational stuff, just because there's only so much I can get. And um, there are some other things I do want to get, and different Dollar Trees have different things. And with this being a new Dollar Tree being built, maybe we can find some pretty cool stuff to show you guys. So... Without further ado, let's show you what I have picked up this week. Um, if I haven't shown you guys yet, this is kind of a makeshift bulletin board that I made out of Dollar Tree items. This costs less than one, two, three, four bucks. So with the glue dots, the border, these posters come in two packs. They are a great size. They are 17 by 22. But honestly, for my house, I wish all their posters were about 8 by 10s <laughs> So I could put many more on the walls. But this is great because, as it falls a little, <laughs> it's been doing that because I keep moving it. So when I finally decide how I'm doing it, it will no longer fall. And uh, I just picked up or just got in the mail from my kindness group I'm in on Facebook um, off my Amazon wish list, I've got my better than paper white wood bulletin board. So I'm going to be doing some stuff with that. I'll show you guys in another video. Got some goodies coming for that in the mail this week. Um, so anyways, you can take your Dollar Tree posters and swap these out. I have multiple sets of posters. I will show you here in a minute that I can swap these out with. And uh, this chair cover, we have had this for all three years we've homeschooled. It is also from Dollar Tree. It, um, we really had to stretch it to get it on this kitchen table chair, but it still fits. So, I've shown you guys in another video my daughter's wheel that she likes for geography right so got that last year or the year before at Dollar Tree super cool well we found this one yesterday and she in first or second grade did a monarch butterfly project in public school and ever since she just loves them and um, we got this too so I thought she would just love that. So that is something we picked up in the educational aisle. This is something I got for my 14-month-old. I thought that was cute because I'm starting this tote of educational stuff for him. I have picked up stuff from Dollar General, from thrifting. Um, like this $40 three-box set of educational games. This is a three-box set. It was 40 bucks it retails for if you look at that. I got it for about a dollar fifty. I think it was fifty cents a box at the thrift store. Um, that's about my guess, because I only spent four dollars and I got those three games. I got um Blockus, some um a shirt for Zoe, 
I don't remember. We get all sorts of stuff from there. And everything ranges from 10 cents to 50 cents mostly. Anyways, if you want to see me do a thrift store garage sale video of everything I've picked up second hand, um, there's quite a bit. You can really save money and you don't have to buy everything brand new when you're doing homeschool. So let me know if you'd like to see something like that. Um, comment and let me know and I will get her done. So I also have something like this on my wish list for Zoe calligraphy. I really liked calligraphy when I was younger, so I thought she would too. So I'm going to take it off my wish list because I just got this at Dollar Tree. And it's pretty cool. So, isn't that pretty? For a buck. It's Crayola brand. So, I thought that was pretty darn cool. And these are amazing. These were on my wish list too. Um, I think they had to come in like a 10 pack or something. So I would have had to have had 10 of them. These were two. Yeah, they had green, red, blue, and maybe yellow. Maybe yellow. Not sure. But I got blue for Zoe, red for Gunner. So I'm going to throw Gunners in there. They are the dry erase pockets and reusable. Excuse the dog hair. We have two lab rescues and they just give us their hair everywhere. Zoe had to have this. This is something she's been eyeballing. She eyeballed the last time we went to Dollar Tree last week. So when we went yesterday and this was the last one they had and she likes blue stuff. So we got it. This little guy was a buck and it is a projector and projects um, galaxy on the ceiling or walls. And we are going to put this in our little morning basket here because Sissy thought that would entertain Bubba pretty good. So I thought that was sweet of her. That'd be a good idea. Uh, this is a poster I picked up yesterday. As you can see, they're 17 by 22, so they are very big, but they will exactly fit in my bulletin board there. That's <laughs> slowly coming down because I've moved it a couple times. But I thought this was cool. Thought these were cool. Picked up these last week. I'll put the right one up, but the one on the left that's landscape is probably going to go over here near my stuff. This map is also from Dollar Tree. And I can't remember how big it is. 40 by 28 or something like that. It is huge. It takes up that whole wall. I was going to do a blue border around it, um, but I can't really. Oh, I could trim the border though. Ooh. <laughs> how am I do that? Anyways, uh, this pink three shelf thing, I have had that for probably eight years from Dollar Tree. That has lasted me forever and held heavy stuff. Um, I've overpacked it. I just pulled stuff out of it, all my posters. So yeah, holds quite a bit. Anyway, so we have that four shelf and we have this four cube shelf. All right. So there's the posters I can swap out for my kind of DIY bulletin board over there. Like I said, now that I have my bulletin board paper, I can do that a little differently. I picked these up. I'm going to save these for Gunner unless you guys have any ideas of what I could do with a fifth grader for them. I've never had anything like this over the last couple of years, so I thought for a buck that was cool. Here is another one. And when I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday, they had some blues, but um, for Gunner's theme, I'm going with Sesame Street and Dr. Seuss. So red or blue will work regardless. I'm not going to buy other stuff just because I have wanted the blue. That's all right. This I'm going to put up on my bulletin board, I believe, too. Or maybe replace that gather sign, but I think it's too big for that or might barely fit. But we'll see. It kind of matches my theme I'm going with with my bulletin board there. Um, I'm doing some of the home suite classroom stuff. 
uh, that line of product for bulletin boards and classroom decor. I've got some of that coming this week. This is a super cute calendar. I was looking for the coveted farmhouse calendar. Did not find it. Dug and dug. Could not find it. But we got this. And Sissy wants to use it. And that's fine. But I told her she has to keep it nice and not let it, you know, rip off the wall or anything. Because I want to keep... I want to do some DIY decor with some of these. Um, especially this map one. That one would be cool next year to put up on our homeschool wall. Um, this one might be cute for the fall. Um, this would maybe be cool on the homeschool wall too. You know, several of these would actually. So, or in her room. So if she takes care of this dollar calendar. I've seen some videos on using Mod Podge to create home decor. So I'm going to do that for a buck. And you can get plenty out of it. Don't know about you moms. Um, a lot of moms don't even like their kids make slime at home. I was like that for a while. Um, then I just said, screw it. Whatever. They're only little for so long and she's really into it. So, whatever. I've never bought the foam beads though because I don't spend a lot of money on slime stuff. Just not going to do it. Um, but found these at Dollar Tree. So for the first time, she's going to get um, foam beads. So... And it's a really good size packet. I know you can't tell, and I do have small hands, but that's a thick, you know, full hand size packet. And um, she makes small batches of slime, so this should actually last a while. And I will put that in a, like, Tupperware container for her or something, or a Ziploc bag. These are the glue dots I picked up at Dollar Tree. Now, at Dollar General, when I did this bulletin board, I used the yellow package. I don't know if these are different. Um... I can let you guys know in a few future video, I will go to Dollar General soon and get another pack of the yellow ones because I'm probably going to need more regardless. Um, like I said, this is only falling down because I've moved it so much. It stuck very well the first time. Very well. All right, y'all. And uh, just to show you, these are some of the other pick posters I've picked up. These are... Inside the plant cell and animal cell. These are really cool. Nice big science posters. Then this is some more math posters. Order of operations. Mead, medium, mode, and range. Again, nice big size. 17 by 22. Now these are writing prompts. This was a package I must have opened last year. But those are see so you can see the back. You can pause it if you'd like to read it to do a review for yourself. But yeah, these are super cool. Got one on landmarks, so it's different landmarks and figurative language writing prompts. These are some, these are, this is the blue kind of glitter border. They've got some other colors this year. They actually have tons of border this year. Um, I bet there's at least 10 different varieties of border at Dollar Tree this year. At least. It's super cool. Uh, I did pick up this this year, the Sesame Street one. This I've had, and that's the trim piece I used in the middle of my DIY bulletin board over there. I'm saving this stuff for Gunner, and for now, just kind of been putting that stuff there. Again, I wanted to show you that Dollar Tree has really great stickers this year. Um, my daughter expressed to me that she would really enjoy having some stickers on her worksheets. So, those are hers, but I picked three other packs. This is a little idea for your chalk, the colored chalk. These are the cute jars. This is a yard sale find. We live in Kansas, had to have it. Okay, so my next little Dollar Tree find I wanted to show you. These are a dollar a piece. These are shelves. I have these. I have one of these under my kitchen sink. For my gloves and things like that I stack on top of this and things I just didn't want on the 
bottom of the sink in case we ever have a leak or anything. I use these to create a shelf inside my cube. These are the 13 by 13 cubes. This is the mainstays one from Walmart. And um, I would have never been able to stack anything on the crayons. I would have never been able to stack anything on the school boxes behind those. The bottom one has glue, scissors, and tape. The top one is a Crayola one from the Crayola store that's full of crayons. And then this caddy is from Dollar Tree. We have had this since Zoe was a toddler. I believe my mom got it for her and gave her all sorts of hair goodies in it when she was a toddler. Um, they just last forever. Don't be afraid to buy their organization stuff and save you some money. So look at that. Shelf. Amazing. And now I have freed up this entire cubby and I'm working on combining some others. So... I might be able to get rid of both of these shelves in my kitchen, but we'll see. Because we do homeschool in my dining room. The table's not always this busy. Um, and in the afternoon, I clear off the table and prep it for dinner and meals and whatnot. All right. Toddlers are fun. <laughs> this is um, some Halloween stuff I couldn't help but picked up pick up. I like the little metal looking pumpkin on there. Kind of goes with our rustic country theme but it's Halloween-y. Super cool. And this was a large sign. Like I don't know where my tape measure just went. I literally just had it. I wonder if it says on the back how big this is or somewhere. No. But that is a large sign for a buck. Um, I thought that was cute. I just kind of had to have it with the, in the chalkboard theme, I thought, man, that could almost, you know, go somewhere near school stuff or something. And they're all, I don't know, but super cute. Like seriously, it's, look at it compared to my window. It's just huge. For a buck, I'll take it. Now this little guy is awesome super easy to put together it is really sturdy uh, this isn't like thin plastic or anything um, amazing for a buck this is a brush and pencil caddy is what it was titled a brush and pencil caddy uh, the package did show colored pencils in it too and Zoe needs new brushes, so we will be probably putting new product in here, so as you can tell. I've tried to teach her how to take care of her brushes, and it doesn't always happen. Uh, but she's a kid, what do you expect? And she loves to do art. And then she's love, you know, ready to do the next thing, so they don't always get cleaned out the way I've taught her. But those are super cool. Caddy is super cool. It's got these notches down in the bottom that your brushes sit in. If you are a crafter, I don't know if this would work for Cricut tools or anything. I don't have a Cricut. Someday I would love, love, love to get a Cricut. I'd love to print my own shirts and, you know, decor for the house. Kind of just my own stuff and stuff for friends if they wanted anything. Zoe had to have the girl boss sign. That was at Dollar Tree as well. Had to have it. Super cute. Super cute. And this is some Thanksgiving decor. I had to have the sunflower one. For my country house. And I've shown you guys these in a different video, but I wanted to show you again. They are big too. Like, I just love that the decor is a great size. And these are, you know, they look like mason jars to me. So I had to have them had to have them. So just a couple of Thanksgiving and Halloween things. I don't overly decorate for those two holidays. I just have stuff that I kind of sit out or hang up. Nothing elaborate. Um, I'm not fancy with all that stuff. I'm not even super fancy with my Christmas stuff, but we got this basket there too. This is our morning basket. Um, we do a devotional together in the morning. This is a journal that was also on my wish list from my um, Scattered Kindness group and that I started and um my friend got me this and I just I love it I love it I love it super cool um Cody's grandmother gets Zoe this subscription 
It is awesome. I think we are on maybe our fourth or fifth, fifth or sixth week getting it. Not sure. Little educational game dog pile. Brain right. Got that at a yard sale from our local librarian when she had a yard sale. It's my Bible I've had since I was 14. Yeah, that Bible's been through a lot. Um, multiplication flashcards back there. Brain quest cards there. Uh, it's just kind of a simple way to get your morning started. I know a lot of people do different things and their morning baskets, whatever. I don't know. I just put this together the other day. Uh, we were already doing a devotional, but I know that some moms have suggested a couple of little fun things to do too. And Zoe thought this would keep Bubba busy. So when I created this basket, she said that should go right there and it fits perfectly. So that's where it's at. We've got our Bluetooth speakers. All right, y'all. Well, thanks for checking out my Dollar Tree haul and everything we are doing to get our homeschool ready. Um, I just gradually get stuff over the years. You know, you don't, you don't have to have a lot. You don't have to start with a lot. We did all of our homeschooling online the first year, so we didn't have very many supplies or things we needed. And it honestly doesn't take much to do homeschooling. You could go all out Pinterest mom if you want, but you know, you can do it pretty affordably too. So be looking out for a video on my bulletin board. I also have some more reviews videos coming on our um, homeschool curriculum we use, which is Masterbooks. If you have any questions about that or want to see a specific book of their fifth grade curriculum, let me know. I have recorded a video on the math that is not posted yet and language arts. Well, it may be posted by the time you guys see this. So there's actually going to be a video on language arts and math review done by the time you guys see this one. And I can link those in the bottom if you'd like to check out what curriculum we use. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel.